Hi guys, it's Nancy, and today I have the October 2021 Clear Stamp of the Month from Spellbinders. What another great versatile set, whether you have everything or you are just starting out, this will be a staple in your collection. Um, what I like is that the font and the sentiments match with everything that you might have going on right now, and it'll mix and match very well with any other stamp sets uh, that you have. So you have the big sending for you, and you have the outline dies to go with those, so you can cut those out. And then the sentiments are just all around great. Heartfelt thoughts, a big thank you, miles of smiles, lots of love, all the best, a little treat, a little pickup, confetti wish wishes, birthday wishes, happy thoughts, Christmas cheer, a million thanks, a big congrats, a little something, warm holiday wishes, hugs and kisses, a truckload of happiness, the best gift ever, a big hello, holiday express, and special delivery. So let's make a card. Okay, so first thing I need to do is make my background. And I really like the sentiment that says, sending confetti wishes right here. So that got me thinking of this glimmer background. And yes, that was Leo barking in the background. Um, and I'm going to use the Spellbinders Glimmer Rainbow Foil. And I'm going to line that up pretty side down. And I have a pre piece of holographic cardstock here. I'm just going to lay that on top of it. And we're going to hit the timer, and in 60 seconds, this will be ready to foil. So once that's done, I will bring you guys back in and show you the reveal of that. Actually, we can let that go. While that is going, we want to stamp out our sentiments here, because we're going to end up cutting them out. So let's do that while we're waiting. And I'm just going to use some black VersaFine Claire pigment ink because it's super dark and super black. Because we're going to have all that rainbow foil. Leo, I'm filming. He wants to play. Okay. timer just stopped so we'll do this one and then we'll cut that out quick actually I could just leave it like this and do one big strip I think that looks okay and then we'll put confetti wishes underneath that so let's bring our die cutting machine in Okay, we're gonna take our heating platform off, run it through our platinum. I'm not going to put any additional shims or anything in there. I'm just gonna slowly run it through once and then back out again. Let's see what this looks like. That is perfectly foil. Look at how pretty that is. So much fun. Okay, so we have our background ready. Now, do we want to die cut these or do we want to do what I was thinking of with the I think I might have it too close. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. might have to stamp it again. Oh, no. We might be able to get these through. Okay, let me cut these out. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have stamped and cut out the sending you. I also stamped and cut out the confetti wishes. So now all we have to do is start assembling. I've already pre-assembled um, this card base, which I already had ready with the holographic. So instead of wasting that holographic. I think I'll save it for another card 
and we will put this on a black top folding card base. So we want a little bit of that black showing through. So we're gonna cut this down to five and a quarter by four. Let's see, I don't want it to cut too much of that red off of there. I think it's pretty. So we'll make that the end and we want this to be four inches. Five, five and a quarter, which I think this is perfectly sized for. All right, so we have five and a quarter by four in holographic uh, foil, or sorry, rainbow foil on holographic cardstock. Perfect. I love the black border around there. So we're going to add a little bit of adhesive to that. Sometimes I notice the adhesive tends to come through, so I'm going to be very light on that. Oops. Okay. And then we just need to add our little sending you confetti wishes and I do want to fishtail this so let's make this as a little shorter and then we'll cut up through the middle and then from each corner up to that top of the middle and we have our fishtail banner add a little adhesive you can get this set from spellbinders along with the small die of the month club the large die of the month club the glimmer kit of the month which gives you a glimmer hot foil plate as well as um a roll of foil so it's a really good way to um, build up your stash and I do like these kits because I think for the price and everything that you get they're definitely worth it so in this case you get a stamp set with many versatile um, sentiments but you also get the dies to cut it out um, and you don't have too many companies that offer that so if you are just starting out and building up your stash again it's a good way to get all of the supplies that you need without having to shell out too much And I think that just goes perfectly because I've been dying to use this background and I know you can use it for snow, but I thought, wouldn't that be cool to make that some confetti? And now this can go for any occasion. It can go for congratulations. It can go for a birthday. It can go for graduation. It can go for a, um, I don't know, housewarming, something like that. So sending you confetti wishes. And then I would just put a piece of white cardstock inside there and write my sentiment. So there we go. Again, this is the Spellbinders. October 2021 clear stamp of the month set and you get that big stamp um, or I shouldn't say big versatile with many sentiments and you get the three dies to cut out sending for and you let me know what you think down in the comments if you have any questions post them down below I'll link everything for you if you want to go do some shopping thanks for watching and keep on stamping bye guys